Welcome back, folks, to the final part of Let's Play the Chaos Engine. In the last episode, we made it all the way to the final level in the game, World 4 of the Cellars, Level 4, Time for Chaos. Final level in the game. Right, it is time to kick ass! Okay, I've got four lives, scientist has got two, so that's not too bad. Why is my controller not working? Hang on a minute. Why is it... Ugh, that doesn't sound very good. Oh, it's not plugged in properly. Hang on a minute. There you go. Okay. So, we're gonna need the shield here. Because my weapon's pretty much useless. There's a missile launcher right off the bat. Oh, how lovely. Do not get hit, scientist. Right. First off, big swarm of enemies. Yep, Chaos Engine is not messing around anymore. We just need to destroy these guys and survive for the moment. So, we need to, well, instead of activating four nodes, we actually have to destroy four bits of machinery. And, uh, yeah, to actually destroy these bits of machinery, it is very difficult to do without taking damage. That's why we have the shield power. Get out of here, robots. Yeah, money is useless now. Money is absolutely pointless. We don't need it. We can't even revive the scientist if he dies. Right, first one is easy enough. There you go. You have to shoot it at the front uh, of the machine itself. And until you do, uh, it will spawn forth a bunch of those weird... Oh, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Like weird rolling balls. They can do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, God. Okay. That's annoying. I didn't hit the shield fast enough there. So I took a lot of damage. All right, that's frustrating. Okay, uh, not good. Not good. I'm probably going to die first. But I, I'd probably prefer me dying over... Actually, no. Scientist, once we've got all those, uh, essentially, robots out the way, all the machines out the way, we don't really need the scientist anymore at all. The shield is specifically for the... Never mind. Okay, one life lost. Damn, that's annoying. And neither of us are nowhere near an extra life. Well, I guess scientists could maybe get one, but not if you keep doing stupid crap like that. All right, get rid of that, please. Thank you. Okay, so two of these are pretty easy to hit, but the other two are not. That's where you need to use the shield power. Uh, yep, let's break this. Brilliant. One more to go. One more left, and I'm going to need to use the shield power here. And not get hit by the robot. Scientist, I do not want you to die here at all. Because if you die, I can't use your power. Don't die on me, scientist. Not now. Right, go. And got it. Brilliant. Okay. The scientist survived. Brilliant. Okay. So, we're done. We're done. The shield power is now useless to us. Main reason is because... The final boss can bypass the shield. So, we don't need the shield power anymore. Also, if you notice, no food in this area. We haven't had food for a while. <laughs> We've been running on lives specifically. Anyway, all you do is go through here. And we are here now at the final boss. The Chaos Engine. It summons forth a barrage of bollocks, including spread fire, bombs, missiles... You can see it's health there in the middle, just below where the nodes would be, and above where the coins would be. I mean, look at all this stuff we've got to avoid right now! The scientist's already t already taken damage. Uh, and has already been killed once. The scientist is not going to survive this. Me, on the other hand, I think four lives plus a zero life, so five lives. I think it's looking pretty good, especially when we've nearly already killed it. There you go, it's flashing! And it's gone! But is it? Of course it's not! It has a second phase. Which now summons forth these weird light shots. These light projectiles. I'm gonna start using my special power now while I've got the chance. To show how bad it is in comparison to my weapon. See? It finally did some damage. Some visible damage. Still pretty crap though. Okay. Scientist is about to die. Scientist is dead. It's just us now. It's the Brigand versus the Chaos Engine. Yep, Fortescue has been controlled by the Chaos Engine. 
and is in pain. Lots of pain and we need to sort it. And I'm dead again. Get some shots in though. Yeah, it's this, this, um, this one's only got two forms right now. We're looking pretty good. We are looking pretty good. I'd rather take the, the shot from the ballistas because it does very little damage in comparison. Well, never mind. If I take more than one shot, it take. Oh, God. I'm not looking... Okay, I'm not looking good now. I'm going to get some shots in on this thing. Come on. Okay. A third of its health is gone. If I can get down to half before I lose this life, I might... I might be able to do this. Okay. Right. I still have this life left. At the moment. Let's see how much damage we can get off on it. Okay. Nearly there. Nearly two-thirds gone. Oh. Okay, he's still alive. Go on, Brigand. Okay. Two-thirds gone. Just two health bars to go. But I am on my... Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Just shoot it. Fire. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Come on, Brigand. No, I died again. Okay, I've got two lives left. Oh, God. No, no. Shoot it. Oh, I fired the wrong way. Yes. Oh, we did it. Yes. My first time beating it on medium. That's what the Chaos Engine did to Fortescue. Cheers, Fortescue. Jeez, you are going to need a lot of plastic surgery for that, aren't you? Ugh. And with that, we have completed the Chaos Engine. That's the first time I've done that on medium mode. I've done it on easy mode before, but I've never done it on... Um, on... I've done it on easy mode before, but I've never done it on medium mode before. So, yeah, Scientist Shield Power really helped out in that last, in that, uh, last level. By the way, reason I didn't use the Shield Power uh, on the final boss, the final boss's attacks bypass the shield. So, the shield is pretty much useless against the final boss. So that's why I went with my shot, which was pretty bad anyway. Ah, oh, God, this game is so much fun. And, hell, they made a sequel to this, Chaos Engine 2, which... I believe to a lot of people is nowhere near as good as this game, but I may give that a go at some point, um, when I get the time to, pretty much. But I may give that a go at some point. Ah. Uh, well done, Joy, for that. That was damn good music there. This game's got brilliant music, what can I say? It's... It's a really fun game! Soldiers of Fortune, the Chaos Engine. I wonder if that was possibly going to be its full title. Who knows? But with that, folks, we have completed... The Chaos Engine. Look at that score. 38,940 for me. Scientist, 909... 9,980. Not as good. Brigand kicked ass there, but... Scientist, really, really good support character in this game. Would highly recommend to have Scientist as a second character on this. Just because of the healing. It's just good. And the Brigand just has some good all-rounded stats. Okay, so that was, that, was a, that, was, that was a fun run, wasn't it? I quite quite enjoyed that. Currently going through a bit of a nostalgia phase right now. Just going through a lot of old games. Um, mostly Genesis games. You know, in the last sort of couple of weeks, I've uh, finished playing uh, Xenon 2 Mega Blast, Fatal Labyrinth, and this. So, who knows? Maybe, I could, maybe I'll do some more retro games at some point and, and uh, maybe do like a, a special or something for retro games. Who knows? Anyway, guys, with that out of the way, we have completed the Chaos Engine, and that is the end of this Let's Play. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I'm Mastrath, and I'll see you for my next Let's Play in the future. I'll see you then.